guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Go Pony, and today we are in the new 2020 Lexus RX 350 F Sport, courtesy of Bobby Ray Hall Lexus in Mechanicsburg, PA. And so I wanted to jump into this one because there have been a lot of changes for the 2020 RX 350. One specifically that is major for this one, and I will get into all of that. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and jump right into it. And as always. Let's start with pricing. And so when it comes to the 2020 RX 350 F Sport, there will be a front wheel drive variant and an all wheel drive variant. For the front wheel drive setup, that pricing will start at $47,950. Then you have the all wheel drive starting at $49,350. But regardless of which setup that you go with, the power plant on the RX 350 will be the same. Powering this beast is going to be a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6, putting out 295 horsepower at 6,300 RPM, 268 pound-feet of torque available at 4,700 RPM, power again sent to front wheels or all wheels through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters. So you guys know we will be testing out those paddle shifters in a little bit, see how quickly they react for us. But when it comes to zero to 60 time, this one surprised me a little bit. Front wheel drive actually comes in at 7.7 .7 seconds. All wheel drive comes in at 7.9. Typically, it's been vice versa where the all wheel drive is going to give you a little better acceleration because it gives you better traction but found that kind of interesting but either way top speed 124 miles per hour in case you were interested with mpg numbers coming in at 20 in the city 27 on the highway for the front wheel drive 19 city 26 highway for the all-wheel drive but before we do any kind of accelerations or paddle shifter tests i did want to mention there are some driving modes that circular dial button is located just kind of behind the shifter and to the right and that's going to give you eco normal sport and sport sharp so right now we have it in eco mode because we're just cruising. So we're gonna save a little bit of MPGs there. But before we do this acceleration, I'm gonna turn it to sport sharp here. First thing I notice when you do adjust those drive modes is the gauges will differ quite substantially. So with that eco mode, you're gonna get kind of a black hue. The normal is gonna kind of be the same, but then when you go to sport and sport sharp, you will get a white perimeter around the tachometer, a little bit of red added as well. So I think that's pretty cool. But in addition to the gauges changing, those drive mids will also adjust things like the throttle response, the shift points, and the steering sensitivity as well. So what do you say since I mentioned all that, let's go ahead and put the shifter actually all the way to the back and to the left. That is gonna allow me to manually shift through the gears myself. If you wanted to go that route, that is there for you. So let's go ahead and do a quick little paddle shifter test first to see how quickly these paddle shifters react for us here. All right, so there is a little bit of a delay to the paddle shifters. Cool thing is the paddle shifters, they do feel kind of high quality. So I do like that. Really with SUVs, what the paddle shifters are for is if you wanted to do some engine braking, for instance, if it's snowing in Pennsylvania, as it often does here, you can do a little engine braking maybe when you're going downhill so you don't have to use the brakes and spin out or whatever. So that's really what the paddle shifters are gonna be for in an SUV. But let me go ahead and put it back in drive mode. All you need to do is just slide the shifter back to the right there and that allows the car full control once again and let's do a quick little acceleration here and let's see how quickly we can get the new 2020 Lexus RX 350 F Sport up to speed. Here we go. Good grief. <laughs> Unexpected. <laughs> I gotta be honest, that acceleration surprised the heck out of me. This is just a regular 3. Point, oh, I should say regular, but this is the 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6. It's not turbocharged, it's not supercharged, but dang, did that power reach the ground ever so well. Immediate acceleration in this thing. Certainly no issues with merging onto the highway. Well done, Lexus. Anywho, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 12.9 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 13.3 inch solid rear discs. And in my short test drive today, braking feel has felt great. No brake pedal delay or anything like that. So definitely on point there. Touching on suspension and handling a little bit. Up front, you're gonna get a McPherson strut front suspension with gas pressurized shock absorbers and a stabilizer bar. In the back, you got an independent double wishbone type rear suspension, again with gas pressurized shock absorbers and a stabilizer bar. Did want to mention the F Sport specifically will give you an F tune suspension. So a little better handling is gonna come with that. Also, there is an available 
available performance package for this RX350 F Sport. That is going to add $4,850, but that is going to give you an F Sport tuned adaptive variable suspension, which essentially not only tightens up the suspension during heavy cornering, but monitors each shock absorber individually. So it's going to help soak up the road's imperfections as well, giving you really the best of both worlds. So that is definitely a big plus on this one. And with that performance package, you're also going to get some other things like F Sport tuned electronic power steering, a little bit heavier of a weighted steering wheel with that. That Sport Plus driving mode, that is actually going to come with the performance package as well. Otherwise, you're not going to get that. So we do happen to have that, of course, today. And that steering wheel will also be heated, although that's not a performance add-on. It is an extra little add-on with the performance package. So I did want to mention it. But overall, since I mentioned it, the steering feel is excellent. That is the first thing I noticed when I got in this RX350 F Sport is I was telling myself this steering feel feels absolutely wonderful considering we're in an SUV. You almost never find that unless you jump up to like a Porsche Macan or a Cayenne or something like that, but steering feel is excellent. One of my favorites in an SUV, I gotta say. Ride quality has been absolutely wonderful. Again, as expected with the adaptive variable suspension, cabin noise has been great as well, meaning not a whole lot of exterior noise is coming into the cabin. It is a Lexus, I suppose it is as expected there. Then touching on visibility, you got plenty going on there as well. Visibility is great, by the way, rear visibility. Even with those rear seats up, the headrests don't protrude up too much. So you don't really have any issues there either. So rear visibility is absolutely wonderful. In addition to that, there is a head up display of available. If you wanted it, that's only an additional $600. So that assists with forward visibility a little bit there. Also wanted to mention rain sensing windshield wipers. It's kind of one of those new safety features that are starting to pop up on more and more vehicles right now. But with that, it's kind of like automatic headlights, but it's automatic windshield wipers. So when the RX350 detects that there is some sort of rainfall, even if it's just a drizzle, it will automatically turn on those windshield wipers. So you don't ever have to worry about it. So it's one last thing you have to worry about and allows you to better focus on driving and enjoying the drive in this nice performance package RX350 we have here today. But that just about rounds out the performance segment of this review. Let's go ahead and check out the exterior now of the new 2020 Lexus RX350 F Sport. All right, so here it is, the 2020 Lexus RX350 F Sport, slightly revised front fascia for 2020. Not really too much of a difference, but you know, ever so slightly. Up front, you're gonna find that Lexus spindle front grille. It's actually slightly bigger than the 2019 model year, so that's one of the slight differences there. To the sides, LED headlights, triple beam LED headlights. We do happen to have them today. I just did wanna emphasize that because that is actually what you're looking at right now. Those will add 1,675 five dollars so a little extra brightness there either way led daytime running lights will also come standard along with an automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark out those headlights will turn on automatically for you there and of course since we do have the f sport you are going to get some additional styling cues like that brushed silver front lip in the front there there's also going to be some dark chrome exterior trim both around the spindle front grille and also in the bottom corners of that front lip there so a couple extra added cues that the f sport does add and Definitely makes it look better in my personal opinion at least. Then make your way to the side though. F Sport badging can be found in the front fender. You guys are looking at that right now. Floating roof line. That is another thing that the RX350 F Sport does come with, although it's less noticeable on a black exterior. We'll say that, but Either way, it's there, believe it or not. Roof rails are going to come optional. We do happen to have those silver roof rails up top there today, so that is definitely another plus. Rear privacy glass, again, is gonna come standard, and when it comes to the side mirrors, let me walk closer to them right here. They are power folding, auto dimming side mirrors with the gloss black exterior on this F Sport RX350. LED integrated turg signals will come standard as well. One of the coolest things, that power folding feature, of course, when you lock and unlock the RX350, 50, they will fold in and fold out of course but also when you do put the rx350 in reverse they will tilt down so you could better see the lines in the parking lot so you can make sure you get inside the lines zooming out a little bit taking a look at the wheel setup 20 inch forged alloy wheels and they will come in a multi-spoke design with a gray finish that is the standard setup on the rx350 f sport and they look absolutely amazing almost porsche like kind of wheels it 
definitely has a very nice look to it. But anyways, let's go ahead and make our way to the back. In the back, first thing you're gonna find is that shark fin antenna up top, but then you have the rear spoiler with an integrated brake light. And just below that, a rear window wiper. Let me see if I can zoom in here for you guys so you can see that the rear window wiper is actually tucked away. And this is a good thing because a lot of SUVs will put it actually on the glass and that of course hinders visibility. So if manufacturers are able to tuck it away underneath that rear spoiler, that is always going to be a plus, at least when it comes to visibility. So, but it is there, I did want to mention that. But just below that, LED tail lights. Once again, a very nice design to them, but LED tail lights, a little extra brightness in the back there. F Sport badging just below that, of course. And with the F Sport RX 350, you are actually gonna get a rear center diffuser as well. That definitely looks good back there. And to the sides, dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. It's been now since we are around back when it comes to opening that rear lift gate. There actually is a button on the key fob, so feel free to simply just hold that down if you wanted to. There's also a rubberized button in the back as well. You can always press that. And there is a power lift gate with a kick sensor that is optional for only an additional $150. So if you wanted that hands-free access, simply just kick your foot underneath that rear bumper and that is yet another way you can open the rear lift gate. But once opened up, cargo capacity is gonna come in at 18.4 four cubic feet. If that was not quite enough space for you, however, you can fold those rear seats down. That bumps the cubic feetness up to 56.3. Good bit of extra space back there. And in addition to that, you can also find some cargo lighting back there. There's also a cargo area cover. So if you had some valuable groceries, perhaps you can pull that cover back and that is gonna hide whatever you have back there, really. Grocery hooks, you can also find them back there. There is some in-floor storage with a little tray kind of setup as well. And in addition to that in-floor storage, you will also find a full-size spare back there in case you were curious if there was a fix a flat or a full-size spare you're gonna get the spare tire on this one so that is pretty cool and honestly in my opinion it's easier changing a spare tire than to fix a flat anyways but making our way up to the rear legroom now that is gonna come in at 39.1 inches so for reference I'm an even six feet tall this is how much space I have back there for those rear passengers they can also find a rear center armrest with cup holders there is also rear ventilation back there power reclining second row seats that's pretty cool. A lot of times you'll have the manual reclining second row seats, but of course this is a Lexus. The RX 350 does have power reclining second row seats, so that is pretty darn cool if you ask me. And there is also some USB charging ports back there for the rear passengers. One thing I would have liked to see though is perhaps some rear window sunshade. So if you had a newborn, it keeps the sun off of their eyes, but you can always buy them aftermarket. But anyways, making our way up to the front seats, 10-way power adjustable driver's seat will come standard along with the eight-way power adjustable passenger seat. These F Sport seats, I gotta say guys, are bolstered so incredibly well. It really holds you in place very well. So if you were to do some heavy cornering, they got your back there. Also, they are extremely comfortable. This is one thing I always mention in just about every Lexus. They're Different manufacturers are good at different things. Lexus absolutely kills it when it comes to seat comfort. And if you're somebody who has back issues like me, seat comfort is definitely a necessity and Lexus always gets it right when it comes to that. But two-tone leather finishes will come standard and you can get heated and ventilated front seats for an additional $640. And by the way, those buttons can be found just in front of the shifter if you do end up going that route. But again, some of the most comfortable seats you will ever experience. But Let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping and power adjustable, I will say, so that was pretty convenient there. It is gonna be wrapped in a perforated leather and you will find some F-Sport badging at the very bottom there. Of course, yeah, the steering wheel mount to controls bolstered to the actual steering wheel as opposed to the steering column in case you were interested there. But let's go ahead and get to the startup here. Let me first start by showing you guys the key. You do have your Lexus logo on the one side and when you flip it over, lock, unlock, and again that button to pop the rear hatch but 
for every single trim level there will actually be a push button start that button is located just by a driver's right knee so all i am going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button there but then once started up of course you have the lfa inspired gauges on the f sport rx 350 they always look amazing tachometer is front and center within that there is a digital speedometer and the needle for the tachometer also digital by the way there is a digital display to the left of that as well and by the way to control what is on that left side digital display there are steering wheel mounted controls on the right side actually but it's going to give you a bunch of different things like your trip a and trip b information there's tire pressure information up there there's a compass audio settings safety information when you need your next oil change and the list goes on so really quite a bit of information on that digital display up there but let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality because perhaps the first thing i notice when you first get into the rx 350 f sport there are aluminum door sills along with aluminum foot pedals as well definitely adding a more race car like appearance to this one i'd absolutely love that and that aluminum trim actually continues throughout can be found on the doors as well as just above the glove box and around the cup holders just to the right of the shifter so really that aluminum the trim is tied together very nicely panoramic sunroof is going to be available for an additional $500 we do happen to have that and it actually extends pretty deep into the rear passenger seats as well so everybody gets a view of the sky there dual zoom climate control will come standard black headliner again standard since we do have the F Sport here LED ambient lighting again will come standard and overall Lexus always gets it right when it comes to interior quality there are also home link controls for up to three different garage doors found just below the rear view mirror there overhead sunglass holder if you look up a little bit just in front of the shifter there's going to be an electronic parking brake as well as a 12 volt power outlet two usb charging ports two cup holders just behind that and behind that you are going to find those drive mode buttons as i uh, was showing you guys earlier and just behind all of that you have the center armrest but if you open that up it is a very deep storage tray right there i gotta admit deeper than i thought it was gonna be and again some more charging ports 12 volt power outlet auxiliary port and two usb charging ports as well and if you look up just underneath of that center armrest you will find a pen slash pencil holder so i have that in my mustang I always get a kick out of that so well done lexus and one more thing i forgot to mention there is a cell phone holder just in front of the cup holders and some more storage actually just in front of that with a rubberized bottom so things don't slide around so overall very nice finishes for the Lexus, definitely impressed. And quite honestly, it is pretty much as I expected. It's, it's wonderful. You got the Lexus analog clock front and center as well. But just above that, let's make our way to the tech display because Lexus, this is the major change for the 2020 RX350. Get ready. Eight inch color touchscreen display is going to come standard and they've had that before. However, there is a 12.3 inch color touchscreen display included with the navigation package or if you go with the Mark Levinson and navigation package, either way. This is gonna come standard with Bluetooth and audio streaming and for the first time ever in history for Lexus, Android Auto, go figure, and Apple CarPlay, Finally, my phone is included. I absolutely love that. It finally has Android Auto. Well done, Lexus there. And the reason why Android Auto is such a big deal to me is it does give you free navigation through your smartphone using Google Maps. So very updated mapping system for anywhere in the world. You can also like and dislike your Pandora songs up on that screen. And by the way, I should emphasize it is touchscreen. In previous generations for the RX350, you've been able to use the touchpad controller, the kind of mouse-like device just behind the shifter and you can still do that honestly it is still kind of geared towards that because it is a slight bit of a reach to reach that touch screen but still i do love that it is touch screen now so again well done lexus for that factory navigation system is available for an additional two thousand two hundred and eighty five dollars if you wanted it and there's a ton of different things you could check out on that screen driving statistics of course radio information by the way, when it comes to the sound system, you will find nine speakers. That is gonna be the standard setup at least. However, there is an optional 15 speaker Mark Levinson surround sound system available for $3,365. Of course, that's gonna add some other stuff like the factory navigation and some other things, but that is actually the package we have today. So let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out this Mark Levinson sound system that we have here today. Mark Levinson 
is excellent. It's always been on my list of top sound systems manufactured right now, out there right now. It is absolutely breathtaking. If you're into music, definitely go with the Mark Levinson sound system. It's absolutely wonderful. But so then last thing on that tech display, at least I wanted to mention to you guys is when you do put the 2020 RX 350 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera with a couple different view options as well. Actually, there is a wide angle view that is going to be the button in the lower left hand corner of that screen there. So that's pretty cool. But anywho, that is going to let you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going Going to lead us into safety and so to start there are front side and side curtain airbags but also driver and passenger knee airbags as well up front that does not come standard on every vehicle out there but perhaps the best part about the safety when it comes to lexus is something called lexus safety system plus 2.0 this is going to add low light pedestrian detection, daytime bicyclist detection, lane tracing assist, lane departure alert with steering assist, road sign assist, letting you know the speed limit of any given road that you're on. That's pretty sweet. Dynamic radar cruise control where the vehicle is going to monitor the speed of the vehicle ahead of you, slow down when they slow down and vice versa. That's also amazing. Intelligent high beams also standard with that. And there's some additional safety packages, of course, as well, including a panoramic view monitor safety package that adds $1,865 but that is also going to give you a blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert and intuitive parking assist and power folding and auto dimming side mirrors so a good bit with that one and then lastly there is a cold weather package that adds $315 and that is going to give you headlamp auto leveling headlamp cleaners and a windshield wiper to ice her for their super cold snowy days like we often have here in Pennsylvania. I ain't so bad anyways, that is about it for this one you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel. And I do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and I will see y'all in the next video. Stay gold.